Welcome to the Creating Arithmetic Questions in the Question Library demo. First, log in to your Desire to Learn account and go into your course. On the course navigation bar, click on the Assessments link. Notice the icons with the options that you have on the assessment tool. Click on the Question Library icon. Now we are going to create new questions in this section. Click on the section name. From the Create New drop down menu, click on the type of question you want to create. To create an arithmetic question, pick that option and click the Go button. You can leave the title of the question blank. Doing so will make the question's text show up as the title. You can leave the points value set to 1. This number can be changed later when you create your assessment. Click in the question text field and enter your question. Example If you have bracket x close bracket apples and bracket y close bracket oranges how many pieces of fruit do you have notice that the variables are enclosed with brackets. This tells the computer that X and Y are variables that will be defined for this question. If you want to add an image to go along with this question, click the Add a File button and locate the image on your computer using the Browse button and then click the Upload button. In the Formula field, enter your formula. Be sure to put your variables inside braces. Example, brace x, close brace, plus brace y, close brace. The answer position box tells the computer how many places after the decimal to use when determining the answer is correct or not. This example set the answer position to one place after the decimal. This means an answer of 10 must be written as 10.0. Set the tolerance depending on how much error you will allow in this question. If you set the tolerance as units plus or minus 0 0.3, then an answer of 10 will be accepted if it falls between 9.7 and 10.3. You could also set the tolerance as a percent of the answer. Enter your units. In this example, our units are fruit. Enter the percent of this question value that the units will get. We'll set this as 10%. Now we get to the variables. We use the variables in this question inside braces. Here, do not enter the braces. Put a variable in each name box. Next, set the range for the x variable. 
minimum one, maximum five, decimal places one, step one. This means that when the computer chooses an X value, it must choose the value according to these rules. The lowest X it can choose is 1. The highest is 5. It can choose a number using a step of 1. This means it can only choose 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Next, set the range for the variable y. Example, min 3, max 7, decimal places 1, step 0.5. This means that when the computer chooses a y value, it must choose the value according to these rules. The lowest y it can choose is 3. The highest is 7. It can choose a number using a step of 0.5. This means it can only choose 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, 6, 6.5, and 7. Now click the test button next to your formula. Notice the variables and the sample values chosen. Notice the formula and the solution with units and the range. Make sure that the formula is acting the way you expected it to act. Click Go Back. If you wish to give feedback to all of the students at the end of the assessment about this question, enter feedback into the question feedback box. Click on the preview button to see what the question will look like to the students. Click the Go Back button to return to the question. When you're finished making changes, click the Save button in the top or bottom right hand corner and you will return to the section list. If you want to create another question very similar to this one, click on the Save and Copy button. That will save this question and create another one with all of this question's information so that you can edit this information instead of retyping it again. If you want to create another question of this same type, click on the Save and New button. That will save this question and give you a new blank question of this question type. You have now successfully created an arithmetic question in the question library.